Hi, I'm Al McNiven. Uh, Greg, uh, the Honorable Greg Rickford was elected to the Ontario Legislature as the MPP for Kenora Rainy River on June 7, 2018, and currently serves as the Minister of Energy, Northern Development and Mines, as well as the Minister of Indigenous Affairs, Ontario. Before coming to Queen's Park, Minister Rickford represented the people of Kenora Rainy River in Ottawa as the Member of Parliament. And during his seven year federal term, he was appointed to cabinet where he served as Minister for the Federal Economic Development in Northern Ontario, Minister of Natural Resources and Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Aboriginal Affairs. Among other positions and committee memberships, Minister Rickford belonged to the Aboriginal Affairs and Northern Development Committee and the Special Committee on Violence Against Indigenous Women. At both the federal and provincial levels, Minister Rickford has served the people of Ontario and Canada by building relationships with Indigenous communities and leaders, listening and giving voice to their concerns. Greg, his wife Janet, and their two young daughters live in Kiwaitan, Ontario. He has lived and worked in many capacities in Northern Ontario throughout his professional career. He has owned his own business and holds degrees in common and civil law from McGill University and an MBA from Université de Laval. <laughs> Today, Minister Rickford is keen on delivering on the commitment to make life more affordable and businesses more prosperous through the ministries that he oversees. Also, Minister Rickford is a hot yoga enthusiast. Good afternoon. I want to thank the Federation of Northern Ontario Municipality members, including their awesome president, Danny Whalen, and the event organizers for inviting me to speak with you today. I recognize and appreciate the important work that FNOM and its members do on behalf of our Northern communities. Our government has a deep understanding of the unique challenges and opportunities across our vast region and standing up for Northern communities, Northern businesses and families will always be our top priority. As our province continues to fight against the third wave of the predominant variants of COVID, we are using every tool and every resource we have to keep the people of Ontario safe, to protect our healthcare system, that's why our government continues to make historic investments in health care while ensuring that our local economies, our municipalities have the support that they need. Last September, I was proud to launch the short term Northern Ontario Recovery Program, otherwise known as NORP. The program has without question helped small and medium sized businesses adapt operations to meet new COVID-19 public health guidelines, protect employees and their customers, and rebuild consumer confidence. Since September, the NOHFC has approved more than $26 million in $25,000 or less tranches through NORP funding, supporting 1,400 businesses across the North. This past February, I was proud to launch a new and improved Northern Ontario Heritage Fund. Together with my team, we've developed four new NOHFC programs that aim to get more funding into small and rural communities through a simplified application process. Since June 2018, our government through the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund has invested more than $309 million in over 3,000 projects across the North. This represents the creation of at least 4,770 direct jobs, leveraging more than $1.1 billion in investment. Our government understands the critical role that the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund plays in Northern communities, and I'm proud of the work that we have done to make it work harder and better for Northern Ontario. Turning to resource development, in recent months, our government has taken great strides to support our resource development sector, a sector that without question will play a key role in our economic recovery as we look to life post-COVID. 
we have upheld our commitment to cut red tape and get more mining projects moved across critical milestones, many of them up and running. And we are proud to stand behind our mining industry and the thousands and thousands of highly skilled and high paying direct and indirect jobs it brings to our regions, the vitality of many of our communities. On critical minerals front, we know there is an even greater opportunity within, in Ontario's resource development sector. That's why we've begun development in Ontario's first ever critical minerals strategy. As I like to say, once and for all, bringing Northern and Southern Ontario together, local and global markets, including Northern Ontario's supply chain are increasingly looking reliable, responsible, sourced critical minerals and rare earth minerals. Our government sees the unprecedented potential in critical minerals and Ontario, Northern Ontario is ready to capitalize on this growing market demand. Northern Ontario stands at the threshold of a tremendous opportunity. Our focus on critical minerals is not just about creating good jobs here. It's a key component to the global transition to a low carbon economy. And it shouldn't be lost on anyone that Northern Ontario is going to be a key destination, a key player in that transition. Turning to the energy side of things, I'm also glad to report that we have made incredible progress, real progress, to fix the hydro mess in Ontario and get our provincial electricity system back on track. Back on track for the benefit of electricity consumers, families, small businesses and farmers. In Budget 2020, we made great strides to deliver historic electricity savings to Ontario's largest employers and job creators, our forestry sector, our miners, our mining facilities, our manufacturing, through our comprehensive energy plan and our shifting renewable energy costs from the electricity system, we have a model now that delivers a 16% on average savings from the cost of industrial and commercial electricity bills. We've heard loud and clear from the forestry, mining and manufacturing sectors in Northern Ontario that for the first time in over a decade, Ontario once again has some of the most competitive industrial and commercial electricity prices in Northern North America. We're back in the game, folks. Bringing good jobs back to Ontario has been a promise of our government since day one, and it starts with energy. This action will ensure that our post-COVID recovery is backed by sound energy policy that supports economic growth. In conclusion, as I reflect on our current realities, as our government continues to respond to the impacts of COVID-19, we are here for the North people of Northern Ontario. Northern Ontario, as we all know, is like no other region in our province or in our country. And our government is here to listen to the concerns and the issues and act in the interests of hardworking Northern Ontarians and turn those into opportunities. I'm Greg Rickford, the MPP for the great Kenora Rainy River riding. It's a privilege and an honor to serve my constituents and is a huge advocate for Northern Ontario to be here today. Thank you.